Yes, De Bola makes the tackle. He must score this one. And it beats the goalkeeper. And we are rightly back on level terms. Sule with the tackle. Releases De Bola. Goalie has not come out. De Bola to finish. And he beats the goalkeeper. It's 1-0. Hey guys and welcome to another episode of the FIFA 15 Southampton career mode series. Today we've got three massive games. We're going to start off with Arsenal, uh, but I don't think you're ready for this guys because we have got Man United and third of all, our third game in the Champions League for this season against Real Madrid and a chance to get revenge for last season. Before we get into today's episode guys, if you can smash over 500 likes for another episode later on today as well, that would be incredible. And the question of the day is would you rather between Xavi and also another old legend by the name of Andrea Pirlo. So here we are guys into the opening game of today's episode against Arsenal and let's see if we can beat them because so far this season they've had a great start I think they're in third place and we are in second Campbell's found a way past into Danny Welbeck and Sanchez with the volley I think that's Sanchez it came so close there not a player we want in that position Jay Rodriguez now on the counter good tackle though but look at the space for Dybala in the middle here goes Dybala we're going to cut back inside here goes Dybala and it's a heavy touch Gabriel gets back and that was a massive chance. We've not had, actually had a shot so far in this game. Great play here. James Rodriguez. Here he goes. Can he get past? That has to be a red card. Mertesaka was the last man. I think it's just in line there with the Bushi, which means it's going to be a free kick in a great position. Mertesaka's a lucky man. We're going to go with Thiago for the free kick. And we're going to aim for that top right -hand corner. It's Thiago with the free kick. And it beats the goalkeeper. And Thiago scores yet again. And we are beating Arsenal. And it's not deserved, but that is our first shot of the game. And Thiago slots it past the goalkeeper and gives us a one-goal lead. Power is not everything in those kind of positions. Thiago's only got 70 power. But all his other stats are incredible. And he beats the goalkeeper and we're in the lead. And Chesney is beaten. Yes, guy with the tackle. In the middle it goes into Dybala. And it's over the bar. How do you miss from that far out, Dybala? Finding and An An Ramsey. It's Ramsey now into the box. Great ball across and no one was there. Back into Wilshire. He finds Alexis Sanchez. The ball comes in and it doesn't get there. Header comes back in. Zuma away. Thought he's forced to do it. And he has the ball. Like, he's just trying to concede a goal, I think. Like, what is he doing running into Zuma? Great play. Right, let's look through the middle. Into Jay Rodriguez. In space as well. Cut back inside. It's Rodriguez. And it's a fantastic save from Chesney. What can Gaia do here? We're going to cut inside with the ball roll. Keep going, Gaia. And now through the middle to Jay Rodriguez. Has he got the pace? He does. It's Rodriguez to finish. Straight to the goalkeeper. Elias there. And it's 2 0 versus Arsenal. And that is a fantastic goal that puts us two goals up. And on our way to three points, we have beaten Arsenal. It's a 2 0 win thanks to a fantastic free kick from Thiago. And then Elias scoring in the second half which means we've started off today's episode in good fashion. Now we move on to the second game against Manchester United. So we're about to go into the second game of today's episode. Another massive one now against Manchester United. So before we go into this game, as you can see down here, Lacazette has now not got the ambulance sign next to his name. Instead, it's been replaced with a strap next to his name, which means he's now eligible to play just in time for the Real Madrid game in a few days' time. But I don't want to injure him straight away, so he's going to start off on the subs bench. Uh, just made a few changes for this game. Jimenez coming in for the centre-back position, and Emo Chan moving into CDM. So what a stadium Old Trafford is on this game. It just looks so good, and that's why I look forward to playing against Manchester United. And remember last time we played them, it was before a Real Madrid game. What a coincidence that is. But this is their team they have. Last time we beat them, 3-0. Uh, but they've brought in Kadira, they've got Di Maria and Hernandez, who was a player we, we could have signed in the last transfer window. Great pass there. Right now, can Thiago unlock this defence? He can as well. It's a great pass through to Tadic. Runs straight into Luke Shaw, though. I just couldn't match him for pace. And for me, Tadic feels so slow, so I don't have any confidence with him to go past any players. Uh, but no real big chances so far, apart from the penalty claim. Ball comes over to Di Maria. Don't take him down in the box. Di Maria now finds Luke Shaw, finds Kadira, back into Di Maria, off the post it goes and it goes out of play but that's the first real chance of the game, Di Maria coming so close to scoring, good play here, right we're going to make the run through with Thiago, Thiago's now on it and he gets past the defender, Thiago to finish, it's a great save 
and just wide of the mark. What a save there from Victor Valdez. First time we've got past the Man United defence. It's Hernandez through and Hernandez scores the opening goal in open play as well, guys. He just found some space behind my defence. And Hernandez, a player we were hunting down in the transfer window, has just scored against us. God's sake, that's so annoying. Hernandez has just scored. Look at this. He finds the space past the defenders. He beats the goalkeeper. It's a great finish, to be fair to him. But that's too much space for a guy like Hernandez. I think it is time, guys. So, the bar is now going to come off. He's had a good performance so far. But now in his replacement is Lacazette for his first game in Southampton Colours. And I'm so excited to use him for the first time. He's been injured for, I think, six or seven weeks. And this is his first time playing for his club. And you guys have said so many great things about him. So let's see what we can do in his new team. Go on, Tadic. Tadic to the bar line. Ball comes into Lacazette. And it's a great save from Valdez. What a save that was. Valdez in top form so far. Proper first chance there for Lacazette. And Thiago's going to take the corner. Great position as well for Lacazette. And it's over the bar it goes. He's, he's actually really good in the air. So little space, but Lacazette is still on the ball. Lacazette to finish, and it's blocked off. He's the only player on the pitch who's actually putting in a shift. And that's why I'm having to go alone with him at the moment. It's just not been good enough. Into Tadej, so look over the top. He gets tackled again. He has to be quick on the ball. Into Emre Can, though. Look to the other side here to Nathaniel Klein. Back into middle to Lacazette. It comes off Mane, and just wide it goes. Can Tadic now get there? And he doesn't. Oh, I'm Tadic. He's so he's got so much ability, just doesn't use it. Right. So do I go for glory or do I pass it? And who is my best free kick taker? Do I go with Thiago? He scored in the last game. I'm going to go with Thiago. So let's hopefully find the top corner. Thiago, three bars of power, and it's nearly gone in. What a save that was from Valdez. And Valdez has turned to Manuel Neuer. And there we are, guys, for the end of the game. And that is disappointing stuff right there because I really think we deserved to get at least a draw from that one. But that is now our second loss of the season. So it's at the Santiago Bernabeu. Last time we were there, we lost the game 1-0 to a Ronaldo goal in the last minute. But before we go into this game, Celtic are currently in first place. We are currently in second with three points. Madrid in third with one point. And Galatasaray in fourth with one point as well. So with from this game against Real Madrid could take us into a great position. Ronaldo already at it with the pass there. There's no need for that. It's 0-0, mate. But now Benzema finds Ronaldo. And what a save from Forster. And he nearly finished the goal that he set up. Right, the ball's going to be taken in from Gareth Bale. The ball comes in to the middle. It's Pepe. Why didn't he shoot? He tried to pass it over. But I don't know why he did that. But now Lacazette with a good header. Ronaldo back into Benzema. Great block that was. It's into Cruz. And he hits the side netting. Real Madrid are just going all out at the moment. And I don't know how it's not 1-0. We just need to keep possession. That's something we struggle with so much. I'll defend here. It's James Rodriguez. He's going to try and pass it to Cruz. Good save from the goalkeeper. Back into Marcelo, but he puts it out of play. Case Mirror now on the ball. Got to make the tackle now. It's headed on to Ronaldo. It's got past the defender. Dre Rodriguez. What is going on? Get it away, Stones. And there we are. And it's straight back at us yet again. Wanyama missing the tackle again. It's poor defending play. But Gaia is there. And let's get it clear. Come on, lads. We have to get into this game. Thiago in a bit of space here. Cut back inside. Thiago through the middle. And he's hit the crossbar. How do you miss him that far out? That's such a great chance. And it's probably the only chance we're going to get in this game. Okay, here goes Lacazette. Back through the middle to Davis. Cut back inside. It's Davis with the shot. And he puts it past Casillas. We are beating Real Madrid 1-0. And fantastic play there from Lacazette. Davis scores the goal. And that is probably the most unlikely scorer. And they've probably never heard of him, Real Madrid. Davis? Who the hell is Davis? Oh, Stones with the tackle. Stones comes in again. Great tackles there from Stones. Playing his biggest game of his life. Now it's Tony Cruz who finds Rodriguez. It's Bale. And Bale can't slide it past the goalkeeper against his former team as well, remember? But Bale slams it over the bar. That's great play there. Dragging in Pepe. The ball comes into Lacazette. And Lacazette puts it wide. I thought that was a goal right there. He's about to celebrate. But Lacazette, I don't want to use him for crossing too much, but he is amazing in the air. Back into Ronaldo, into Benzema. Benzema to shoot. Great save from the goalkeeper. Luckily, James can't turn it away. Where is he going? He's going to try and cross it. Back into Marcelo. Back into Rodriguez with Stones to the rescue again. But Ward-Prowse gets in there. Through the middle now to Lacazette. 
Can he beat one more? Lacazette to finish and it's just wide of the mark. He's had a great game so far. I wouldn't think he would do so well in only his second game for the club. But he's been fantastic. Also getting an assist early on in the game. Sergio Ramos. The ball comes into the middle. It's a free header for Ronaldo. And history has repeated itself as Ronaldo scores the goal that equalises it for Real Madrid. This happened exactly the same time last season. Ronaldo scored a goal in the box. And he's just the ultimate goal scorer, isn't he? He's just fantastic. Oh my god, look at this. It's Ronaldo. We have to defend this one. Is he going to look to Aguero? He's going to go alone, but that's a poor decision. He was through on goal, and the best player in the world couldn't finish it. And again, look at that. Why can't we clear a ball away? We've forgotten all the basics, and Stones is there to mop up. Through the middle to Lacazette. He might have the pace, but Casillas is out, and it's gone against Pepe. It's cut back inside, pull it down on the floor. Lacazette still got it, and he's been tackled. Might be one more chance here. Lacazette, it's a great tackle. And it's a penalty. The last minute against Real Madrid. I thought he got the ball, but it's not been given as just a throwing whatever. It's a penalty kick in the last dying minutes of the game. Look at this again, guys. Is that a penalty? It is a pe it's not a penalty, I mean. That is a great tackle from Pepe, but I'm not complaining. Now, this is a chance to beat Real Madrid, but I'm not going to say it too, too quickly because I need to put this penalty away. Look how quickly it's going as well. But Lacazette, it's on the green. Going to go top left-hand corner. And it's straight to the goalkeeper. But it finds its way past Casillas. We are winning against Real Madrid in the final minute of the game. Lacazette's first goal for the club. And what a goal to score. And there we are, guys. I think that was the last touch of the game. It is finished as a 2-1 win. A fantastic three points. And before we end today's episode, let's go and have a look at the league table. So Celtic, oh, they lost 3-0 to Galatasaray. I need there to be a gap between Real Madrid and Celtic at the top of the table, but no. So that means Galatasaray now go into third or second. We might be first in the Champions League group. Uh, anyway, I haven't actually showed you so far in today's episode the Premier League league table. Man City currently in first position. We've got Southampton ourselves in second, four points behind them. That is going to be a massive game when we play them later on this season. Arsenal in third position, QPR in fourth, and Chelsea coming up the table now in fifth position. But if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, smash a like on the video. Can we go over 500 likes for another episode, hopefully later on today as well. And I want to start making four game episodes as well. So leave a comment down below if you want to see episodes a bit longer than usual. Because uh, I just want to get through this series. I just love making these career mode episodes. And I just can't wait to record the next one now. But thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next episode.